And what's also interesting though, is you can create custom formulas, sure, but inside of Coda now, there's like a lot of AI created concepts here. So, all right, so for those of you out there saying, oh, Dimitri's biased, he's never talked about apps that aren't Notion that are in the same sort of space, wrong. In this video, I'm gonna dive into a couple apps that are gonna crush Notion in 2024 based off of your reverse biased opinions. What I've seen people comment, and also what I've seen in the community really has kind of come forward as great alternatives to Notion. So first and foremost, let's talk about AnyType. AnyType is an app that people ask me to review way more than I have. Uh, I have reviewed it on the channel a couple different times prior when I was utilizing the good old alpha trend that was this product. It is one of those tools that is a sort of offline, really high speed product that also has a great mobile experience because it makes great native apps. Unlike products like Notion, which are essentially just like a, a wrapped, product, you know, where they like to reformat stuff. You can get it for any of the devices you can imagine, whether it be Mac, Linux, Windows, and Android and iOS. And while it's now out of the alpha phase, it has really improved in the minds of a lot of people because of the ability to have offline mode and sync rate with other devices on local networks. I think that this product has a lot of legs to stand on. And if you're interested in a Notion alternative that is basically for the speed aspect and gets away from the web layer that does exist between Notion and me and I, I hate it. I would definitely give any type a try. Although one thing I will say about any type that does kind of give me a bit of the, the ick is, uh, what is this favicon? Why is it the same as Morgan's? That's bothersome. And also what is this favicon? <laughs> Wild. Wild smiley face. Anyways, app number two on this list is essentially a more, the word I would use here is technically sound, similar cloud type of workspace solution, which is going to be Coda. So Coda 4.0 just dropped and they have done this a couple times. They started with like 2.0 and then they went to 3.0 and people were like, oh, Notion did that when they went to 2.0 and then just stopped doing the, the whole product update uh, number going from the first digit up. And with 4.0, the whole thing was, oh, we got AI and stuff. Yeah, and a lot more. Um, there's an entire blog post about it and a great video that kind of dives into it on Coda's YouTube channel. And I love how there's like a little star symbol, which apparently is the universal AI symbol nowadays for God knows what reason. They've actually implemented a better free plan now. So they're removing doc size limits from the free plan for all personal docs, which is pretty great. Uh, and I think this is a great way to kind of get people into the ecosystem. Giving them a more free option is really cool. Now you may be asking, why is this product necessarily better or more impressive than Notion in some ways. Honestly, the main reason is because it just is more technically sound. Um, if you go into any template that they have, one, the speed's a little bit better, two, the formulas that they have, as much as Formulas 2.0 came out, they did do a lot of improvements there. And what's also interesting though, is you can create custom formulas, sure, but inside of Coda now, there's like a lot of AI created concepts here. So in any column, you can summarize other columns, which is something that you cannot do inside of Notion. You can, you know, do it at the bottom. But here, we actually have the ability to, if we press calculate, you'll notice that it asks us like, what do we want to calculate from? And that's great for the option here. But you can also fill the column with AI. So you can essentially have things summarize other columns utilizing AI. So like using simpler language is an option here. So if I fill this column with AI, you'll see that it essentially allows you to cross-reference different things with AI, which I really like. You can edit the AI to say different things. It's almost like a AI formula. And the one knock that I have on Coda, honestly, is the page spacing. The one reason I would not use Coda is because it's pretty limited from a size standpoint. Um, even when it goes to the wide view, I, I this is just not big enough for me. Like like a full, you know, page view sort of thing. The mobile app's not great and as you notice, when I look up Coda desktop, people are like, uh, where are they? And um, every time all they do is they recommend that you like go and create a app by installing the site as an app. So like by going to coda.io and then installing the product after you get to the apps slash workspace. So I just do this and it's like, oh, Coda, right? And then, wow, it's, it's an app now. I mean, that's how you can do it with any product. It's like that with Google Calendar. It would be nice though to have like a real desktop app, right? Like if I crazy for that. They've been around forever. They've made amazing functionality, better formulas, better this, better that. They have even capabilities to, you know, actually use buttons that work well. Like we have buttons in Notion, but we do not have buttons 
in regards to a database or table. So this is pretty great. You see all these different options here. I just, I think it's more robust from a technical standpoint. That's why a lot of people seem to like it. It's also got great integrations. I definitely recommend you check out Coda. It's high up on my list of Notion alternatives. Now, another one that may surprise some people because it's not necessarily considered a traditional solution here is Obsidian. So, you know, Obsidian's been pretty popular for a while. They did a little uh, logo rebrand, which I actually do like the new logo. But the community plugins they kind of have here do make Obsidian a much better product than you'd imagine. So, one, it's got the quickest, best feeling writing experience that I've seen in a note taking app. And it has some of the best community plugins that you'll ever see. They have a great Discord forum. And truthfully, if I was somebody who wanted to spend the time taking more notes, I would use Obsidian. All you literally need to do is create a vault and you have the option to use utilize Obsidian Sync to kind of sync things up. There's also offline. There's also third party options and solutions for creating what you need to for a file management solution that doesn't require extra money. And if you go to community plugins and I turn them on by pressing browse, you just go like, oh my God, there are so many different options. So like advanced queries over your vault for the data obsessed is a great data view option, advanced tables. So improving table navigation, you can add Kanban, calendar, tasks, template or obsidian, Git better sliding. This is all stuff that the community is making that honestly, they end up figuring out something quicker than I feel like these billion dollar companies do when it comes to other products like Notion. Canvas was something that they recently, well, not so recently, but something that they've rolled out in the last couple quarters. And for me, I will say having something like this is pretty cool. Uh, just the ability to like create cards like this one, kind of interact with other cards as well. Don't really need a whiteboard app if you have Obsidian. It also can connect to notes, which is really cool. So I can have it like connect to an actual note right here. And then if I click inside of this, you know, I can take notes. I also can go on and on about how they have a great graph view. I'm sure if you've ever seen Obsidian, you've seen whatever the heck people have regarding this. Uh, a great resource for this overall would be uh, Danny Hatcher. He's a YouTube buddy of mine who does great work in this space. We love Danny. He just made a video on Obsidian Canvas upgrade. So he's learning new stuff and I definitely recommend you check him out. Now from a project management standpoint, there are two different products that are kind of in the same vein that I think you should check out. One being ClickUp, which is a great project management solution. They actually did finally release ClickUp 3.0, which I should review so I can stop making fun of them for failing to release it for so long. And also there is SmartSuite. So SmartSuite is a product that actually created content on their YouTube channel for. I really enjoy the project management solution here. I think that there's so many different features inside of SmartSuite. I actually have some content in here that if you go through and check out their YouTube channel or some stuff on their company website, you'll end up seeing me, which is kind of cool, but they, they do great work. I really enjoy the way that this product feels. It has a myriad of different integrations and they're always trying to create new templates, new updates. I mean, they were pumping out so many different updates in the last few months that it's hard to even say. And that's because they're a very product heavy team. I'm very grateful for, you know, products that seem to try to start from the ground up and work well. It's not very buggy and a lot of different tools like ClickUp have had their, their issues. And I've had my gripes with ClickUp, but supposedly the ClickUp 3.0 launch actually went pretty well after it did come out. And it is a little bit more clean. The feeling of the setup is a little bit more manageable. Um, you actually have the ability to like adjust the way that it feels even more. It has great things like a built-in Google Calendar integration. It's always had some of the best project management capabilities in the game. And if you're looking for a great project management solution, I would check out ClickUp or SmartSuite as they're both really high up on the list. So Coda, a great technical alternative to Notion. Any type, a great local alternative to Notion. Obsidian, a better note taking experience probably the notion and click up and smart suite are great project management solutions if you're looking for more content like this one and how you can increase your productivity make sure to hit that like button subscribe and check out this video on how to improve your skills using productivity apps even more